Then they dropped a basketball over the edge. You can see that the basketball gets pushed around a bit by the breeze, but it lands basically right below where it was dropped. Now watch what happens when they drop another basketball, but this time with a bit of backspin. Whoa, look at that go! <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I literally just dropped it with a bit of spin, like I didn't even throw it, and it just took off, like we had no idea that was going to do that. And this is where I come in. The basketball was subject to the Magnus effect, which affects all rotating balls or cylinders as they fly through the air. And it works like this. As the basketball picks up speed, air on the front side of the ball is going in the same direction as its spin, and therefore it gets dragged along with the ball and deflected back. Air on the other side is moving opposite to the ball spin, so the flow separates from the ball instead of getting deflected. The net result is the ball pushes air one way, so the air applies an equal force on the ball the other way. And this is known as the Magnus effect. This effect is very important in sports like tennis, soccer, and golf.